Yo, what up everyone? Matthew Alex or Alex Incorporated back on Days Gone. Brian, this is gonna be it. If you haven't been watching the news, you should. I'm gonna do this quietly, guys. M making contact. You're not getting close enough to hear the conversation. I'm just going to keep moving around and listening to the conversation. Lieutenant O'Brien, field note 2006. I'm approaching the landing site. I observe a large swarm of insects. I don't want to kill him either. I don't want to mess up or anything. There we go. Haha, <laughs> we got it, guys. Well, leave it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. And what would have happened? Something. Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero, protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, if I encounter any civilians or sub sub civilians, that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? Well, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there. That night. Farewell. The next time... <coughs> Nero Protocol 2-7 states... Burning. Everyone I, was dead. They were slaughtered. Four. Torn. Limb. Nero goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit. 
And then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Man! What? Yes? Okay? Okay? I'm busy! You remember the rooftop of my old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes? I remember, uh, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, uh, Camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a uh, camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I... I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You have one of our radios. That's how you... I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh-huh, and I'm going to go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're going to fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife... I put her on oxygen, I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic, she wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life! O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you. I don't care how long it takes, I'm gonna track you down. And I'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Eat that one, guys. We're gonna get back to our our bike. We're gonna get back. Brian, no, Brian, he's alive. How the hell is he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't gonna make it. But he got her through a mesh unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved your life. She, she can still be. She. No, 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 no. 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 But Brian is alive. If he is. What? Maybe. Cover! Shoot it! Shoot it! Bring him down! Oh.